everybody, welcome back. Falcon, rebuilt three gangs of Debsville. Um, we're doing pretty good. I feel like I start that, um, saying that every single episode, don't I? But is it, is it bad to say that we're doing good? Because I think we're doing okay. I mean, mind you, I'm recording all this in one sitting, so I'm going to get comments, you know, from the last few episodes being like, Falcon, you didn't do this right. Falcon, you didn't do that. Rabble, 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 rabble. And I'll read it and I'll be like, man, I thought I was doing good. <laughs> but then you guys are like, no, you're doing terrible, bro. So either way, um, I think I'm doing good. So let me just go by what I think. I think I'm doing good, and uh, we're going to keep going forward today. Last episode, we ran into the, um, one of the factions that we haven't met just yet until now, the Luddies. They're willing to trade um, food for us with us, but we have enough food right now. And we're only going up right now in food anyway. Um, we have one extra food coming in per day because, again, remember, our we lost a scout due to... Uh, the zombie disease, and then he decided to hurt our other scouts, so we're scoutless at the moment, which is a problem. That's why I have um, El Jefe over here, trying to recruit some more people, and hopefully amongst those people is another scout. And speaking of which, we have some people scouting areas, so let's get the game going forward here. And see what's what. It's going forward, right? It totally is. The Lone Shark, alright, he's back. It's been a month since Gustav loaned us dirty food, and today he came back to collect on it. He brought a half dozen armed mercenaries with him. There was nothing we could really say. We stood by warily as he went through our food stores and took what he said he, we owed. He took all of our food, guys. He took in all of our food, so... You know, hey, we, um... We have no food. That's a problem. Luckily, the Luddies are around. We could probably go trade with them. But here's the upside. Here's what I'm thinking, at the very least. He took all of our food, but remember that... We are actually producing food now as opposed to in the negatives, so, you know, we could build it back up. I mean, it's not a big, big problem. We could always build it back up. Who the fuck is this? Oh, the the Luddy's Merchant Caravan. This friendly trader from Luddy's is carrying goods for sale. We can trade by starting a mission here. Um, I'm going to probably do that, as a matter of fact, but I need my leader for that, so we'll hang out here for a second. Okay, so, Gustav, you motherfucker. Thank you for taking all my food. I'm a little bit worried now. But we'll, we'll, we'll pull through, I think. Now, let's see, how about we do this? Since you're okay, like, available for now, how about you come down here? And farm for a minute? It's only gonna give us an extra food, but hey, it's something. She's not really a scout, so I can't really expect it to go too well. Let's get going forward. Okay, recruitment success. Sweet, I met two soldiers living in that trailer park, and from the smell of it, They'd been there for years, but it was uh, a furtive life. They hid away every night and avoided strangers. I was lucky I was able to convince them to come back with me. As soon as they saw our fort, they signed up to join us. Okay, so we have p extra people now, which... Ooh, I just realized that they came in after we gave all that food away, so suddenly... Food is a really, really big issue, and they're fighters too, which is a fucking problem. I don't need fighters anymore, I need scouts. We also have a zombie threat here. What's going on over here? Why is there a zombie thread? What do you mean 50%? Oh, this over here. My bad. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not worried about them. We'll take care of them relatively easy. Now, here's my problem. Can I, like, I wish I could switch you guys to another class. I don't think that's possible, though, is it? Alrighty. Here's what we need to do. How many zombies are here? I'm not sure yet. You come over here as my best fighter, obviously. Six mass zombies? You should be able to take care of six zombies, right? Sixteen, uh, yeah. But they're mass, so that could be a problem. Let me give you, um, one of these random no-names. I still haven't met them, so to me, I don't really care about them too much. Ten percent. You should be okay with that, I think. You, random no-name. Let me come in here really quickly and see what I could do with you. Train skills. I don't think I could train you in anything else. Oh, wait, switch skills? <gasps> I can't switch their abilities to something else. Again, I'm still learning. I mean, I could get an engineer. <gasps> You're going to be an engineer now. No, we need a scout, though. Falcons, I would love to get an engineer, but dude, we could definitely use a another scout. But an engineer could build stuff for us. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm kind of excited now. Well, here we go. I started the episode saying I thought I was doing good. I was in comments, people yelling at me that I'm not doing good. You're right. I'm going to say it right now. I'm probably going to get a lot of comments for five episodes straight telling me Falcon turned somebody into an engineer. Falcon turned somebody into this. And the only thing I could say is, guys, I'm sorry. It'll happen in the future episode. And it did. It's happening now. So <laughs> time paradox, man. Okay, you go into engineering. Meanwhile, my scout is about to come back. So I don't think <clears throat> under a day till she's back and she's back to farming. So I don't think we need to do anything with the farming just yet. So, 
I think an engineer would be pretty cool. So let's keep going forward. <clears throat> Zombies kill over here and spotted survivors and some more food. Gotcha. Okay. So let me have let me have you come over here and make sure that they take care of that properly. You're gonna train to be an engineer. How long is this gonna take, by the way? Mission lasts forever. Switch skills and gradually improves over time. Is this really true? Eats less than other survivors. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Is this really going to happen? You know, here's the thing. I could have sworn. I could have fucking sworn that when I started the game, it said, El Jefe is capable of learning other skills. Everybody else cannot. That's what I'm pretty fucking sure that's what that thing said. So here's the question. Can I really turn you into something else? Maybe I was just jumping ahead here. Train in school to switch scavenger. Yeah, no, Ed's gonna train him meanwhile, and then he'll do it, I guess? Okay, we'll just have him hang out there for a while and see what's what. Now, um, you need to reclaim some areas for us. I think the graveyard would be pretty good to take care of these zombies, so... You come over here. Oh, you can reclaim it? Oh, I'm out of materials. Holy shit. I didn't even realize that. Uh-oh. Well, now we really need to go scavenge around. Okay. Well... That's a problem. So, what don't we need? What can we break down? Office obviously is really useless, so let me have you start working on this. We will need materials. Let me just demolish this, this area for materials first and foremost. That should help us out. Hefe, you recruited some people. I can't recruit any more because their food's going to be in the negatives otherwise, so we have to hold off for now. Okay, so, you're training to be an engineer. That's fine. And you're guarding, you're guarding, you're healing. Huge farm over here would be really, really good for us. There's a lot of food there already as it is, and one survivor probably, yep. Okay, well I think it's probably safe to say that we want this farm. Easily. But in order to acquire that farm, we need to make ourselves over there, so... Zuli Davis, you come over here, kill zombies. Four zombies, you'll be okay, right? Yes. <clears throat> Draven. Um, nine zombies. Will you be okay with nine zombies? Yeah. Okay. You guys are taking care of this horde. You're switching engineer. You need something to do, and Timothy needs something to do. Timothy, you'll come over here. No zombies there. Police station, no zombies there. Pawn shop, a few zombies. McNoodles has a few zombies as well. You come over here to McNoodles and take care of this. How's the danger? Four? You'll be okay. Alright. And then... You are not going to recruit anybody else. What I would love to do is have you train into something as well. But we can't really do that right now. I can just have you farm, though. Yeah, let me have you come over here and you farm. And that's going to bring us up to 1.3 food per day. Sure, it'll do for now. Alright, let's keep going forward then. I would love to actually talk to this merchant over here as well. Injuries healed. Stop. So, our... Our better scout, or our less, at least our leftover scout, is pretty much ready to go. And we want her to farm in the proper area, so you come over here and farm away. That's going to bring us up to how much food per day? 1.3 still the same. Okay. Not really happy about it, but it is what it is. You're going to demolish this building, right? So you give her a hand with that? I feel like going to this caravan dude down here. Let me see. Start mission. Trade. With El Jefe. Start. Are you going to be okay with this? Like... Yeah. Okay. So you come down over here and talk to this dude. Fuck Gustav. Fuck me over. Took all my food. So zombies have been killed up here, which is what I wanted. Um, you're fighting zombies here. Now... Gas station is good. Easy Pawn has a few zombies. Let me send... Uh, three zombies? Let me send Andrea Anderson there. You should be okay. It's just three zombies. And then Big Farm. We want to send... 16 zombies, huh? We'll send both of you guys here. What's the danger? Zero? Yeah, you got this. Okay, go forward. Injury healed, zombies killed. Alright, trade with the Luddies. We need food. I didn't think we needed it before, but now we're definitely gonna need it. I went out to meet the Luddies caravan and see what they have for sale. Lud happened to be there, making sure nobody steals anything as he put it. Trade? Ask if they need anything. Yeah. Lud didn't want to give anything away, so he brushed me off, but it's clear from... Looking at their supplies that they're low on fuel, <laughs> so are we. I bet they'll pay extra if we could spare any. Okay, well, I'm low on fuel, my friend. So I can do a super haggle chance, and I will do it. 
15%? Okay. They have a hammer. They have food. They have materials and medicine. I'm going to probably start selling some of his ammunition. I guess we can make it, though. That's the upside. I'm not going to give any of my weapons away. What is this hammer? This probably this probably helps us uh, acquire areas faster, too. 11 value, huh? You could probably even use it as a weapon and as a building material as well. Ah, uh, medicine could be good. I don't got to tell you that. But we can't really afford it. So, food is what we kind of need right now, don't we? 1.3 per day. I need some, just not a lot. I'm not gonna give my fuel, even if it's two times the value. So, ammunition. I could give you five bullets for five. Damn, that's pretty shit. Okay. Um, food. You know what? As much as I like the food, I know we could produce it ourselves, so... Say fuck that to that. I would love to get this hammer, actually. Honestly, I really would. But how can I make that happen without giving away all my ammunition, which I don't want to do? We're also low on materials. Maybe... Maybe five ammunition for... Materials, huh? Five materials? Five guns? Five... Mat yeah, I think that's good. So, uh, five guns. Five bullets to five materials? Sure. I'll, I'll take that trade for now. They always say that you know you got a fair deal when no one goes away happy. I don't think there's nothing that's going to be going into celebration on either side tonight. But we, both of us and the Luddies, got the stuff we needed. Perfect. And we got a little bit of, um... Higher morale with them as well. So, we got something to kind of build materials with now, meaning you, after you're done demolishing here, you could probably come and acquire... What do we want to do? The graveyard, right? Just to get rid of it. But at the same time, I would love to get this farm, too. Just need to, we need the materials right now is a problem. Okay, so we'll keep going forward for now and see what happens. Uh, we're done with him. We could go over to Gustav, but I don't think we have anything to really offer people right now. We need to go back to making food, I think. So, you know what? You come over here... And farm. And that's going to put us at what? Three food per day? That's good. I'll take that. You guys are fighting, 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 and you're training to be engineer. Perfect. Zombies killed. Excellent. Any zombies over here? Nope. Now, you're not a scout, but... I kind of feel like sending her over to this market to do some scouting, like scavenging, I should say. If we acquire this other school, that could probably help us to um, change more jobs, I guess, a lot faster as well. So I gotta keep that into consideration too. Let me zoom out here. I feel like we're kind of covering a lot more of the map, so I need like a bigger zoom in of the whole scope of things here. So let's keep going forward. Zombies killed everywhere. Sweet. Oh! We have an engineer. Sweet. Malcolm Anderson. So you know what, my friend? You continue training on that for a little bit while longer. Uh, I'll probably get you up to level 3 and then we'll start doing some researching with you because we could start building some pretty crazy stuff. Um, for ammunition, if you run out, equipped guns will be useless. Okay, that's good to know. You're scouting, you're fighting, and then you're fighting, you're guarding. And what happened to the other one? You're guarding over here. Okay, so... McNoodles has a few zombies again. Warehouse seems to be okay. You come over to the this area, kill seven zombies, that should be okay for you, right? Timothy? Yeah, okay. So you're good. Um, let's see here. Probably a few zombies there. Some in the trailer park. See if you about fighting the zombies in the trailer park. Kill 10 zombies. That could be a problem. 10% chance? I'm gonna send you there. You know what? Just because if you die... I'm honestly not gonna shed any tears if you die. <laughs> but I think it should be okay with 10% anyway. Um, she's done as well. Good. That's another warehouse here too. You could probably find some good stuff in it too. And there's an open field as well with 14 zombies. I'm not sure if you guys are capable for that. Let me just send you to scout this area. Okay, zoom out a bit here. Oh no, here comes another zombie horde. Uh, I found some rabbits out in the warehouse while I was scouting. Somebody must have opened her hatch to let them go free when the infection first scattered and... There are like dozens of those little critters now. What, should we eat them or what? So, this time around, just because I think we're making enough food, I don't think I want to kill them. So this time around, I'm going to keep them as pets. Rabbits for everyone. While not providing any real material benefits, it's hard to beat the... It's hard to beat the feel of soft rabbit's fur against your face. Nuzzle, wuzzle, little wabbly wabbits, I love you. I only did this because, remember there was that one perk, oh shit. That's scary. Uh, there was that one perk, remember, where it said that I could equip pets, and I didn't take the perk because I had no pets, so I figured maybe accepting them I would get pets, but we'll, we'll look into it. 
the pig farmers. The thing about a meat cleaver is it's already made to go through flesh and bones, so when you turn it into an impromptu weapon, half of the work's done for you. Cleavers are their favorite tool of the pig farmers. They're a group of butchers who own a sizable farm nearby. With their seemingly endless supply of food, they've, got, they've done a lot better out there than most of us. We should see if they're trade with us so we can get their tasty meat. I just hope they clean their blades between cutting up Zed and, uh, and carving up pork. Okay, so we have met the second faction now, too. So these guys will be coming here really, really... Oh, here's the pig farmers. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Farmer Bucket and his sons tend to keep to themselves, but have a plentiful supply of pork and they'll trade at discount prices. Alrighty, so... If we want more food, we could go to them. If we want meat, we know where to go. If we want vegetables, we know where to go. I'm not sure which one we really do need right now. Uh, plus, we can make our own food, so I'm not really too worried about that. This right here worries me, though. Um, you're guarding this, and you're fighting here. You're training for more engineering, which is fine. I need to zoom out here. You're scouting. You're farming. You're demolishing. You're farming. You're training. Okay, so we need these two people to come roughly, I would say, at Joe's. Bartend? Gradually increases happiness. Oh! With good leaders. Oh, interesting. So, if I have a non-stop bartender dead, I was going to increase happiness. But, you know, we're already on the on the upside of happiness, so we don't have to worry about it right now. But that's good to know. Um, what if you guys came over here? Kill one zombie? Sure, do that. Just so that we don't have, like, oh, the office has a few more zombies too, huh? Come over here instead. 15 zombies? That's a lot. 0% danger. I want to get rid of the zombies here so when these guys crash through, it's less of an issue for us. Let me zoom out here a bit. Oh, fuck. Alrighty, so... Demolished building. We got 7 extra materials. Sweet. Zombies killed. Alright. Uh, You're finding zombies on this side. Oh! Harriet has a level up, possibly. Harriet story, Harriet M uh, Mickleshire, and I had time to talk again today, and she was saying earlier, Hello there, dear, you look cold. Would you like this hand-knit shawl? Made it from the finest dogs for I also have a cup of acorn tea around here somewhere. I've always had a knack for making things with what I found around. I used to sell them at local farmers markets and craft pair at fairs. But those don't seem to be happening as much nowadays. I was talking down to s uh, I was walking... I was taking down my stall at one of the... Oh, so this is a continuation of the story. Remember, the first part we already read, this is the second part of it. I was taking down my stall at one of the last fairs when I met my first Zed, when Sally, one of my former customers, wandered over to me. I assumed she was there to help me take down my banner and load up my van. If I had been paying a bit more attention, I probably would have noticed the limp and the lack of a nose. They should have probably been giving it away. Not that some of the other people there aren't missing any body parts or two, but it seems to bother them more. What perk should Harriet get? Crafter. Creates extra items in the workshop? Interesting. Handyman? Plus three to building skill? Oof, that could be good. Defense expert? Grants plus one defense to all buildings. Okay. I kind of want to go with Crafter. But... Handyman could be really useful too, especially when it comes to... Building stuff faster, huh? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the building skill plus three. She's up to 11 now, so she's gonna be able to... Acquire buildings for us, like, on the fly now, which is what I was hoping for. Alrighty, so how about we do this, guys? That we've got an episode here. We have a really big threat looming over us. We have to take care of this set attack, and we also have the big one that possibly people could die of. So either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support always does mean a lot, not only for the series, but for the continued growth of the channel. Again, your support always does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.